Hey, and welcome to the Magnolia 5.6.5 release highlights. Most significantly, we finish our big REST delivery improvements, which make Magnolia fantastic to use in headless scenarios or anytime you want to deliver content to other systems, such as front-end JavaScript frameworks or e-commerce systems. We now support multiple delivery endpoints. You can get a localized response, and you can get links to any item plus asset renditions. And we've included a demo of the REST features called the Tour Finder. So let's take a look. First up, we've got the multiple delivery endpoints. The thing is, all of your existing endpoints will continue to work because we support the old v1 uh, delivery endpoint definition. And we've introduced in this release the v2. Uh, delivery endpoint definition. And with that v2 you get all the new features uh, that I'm introducing in this video. This is how you used to configure the delivery endpoint. You can see we have the v1 here and the way it used to work is you just had one definition and in there you had this params and then you would define all the different endpoints. For example here's tours and here's tour types and here's destinations. And this meant that if any other modules wanted to add a delivery endpoint, you would have to decorate this one definition. So this has changed in v2. It works more just like um, any other type of definition. So here is that same thing in the v2 format. Here you can see we're using v2. We don't have the params. We just go right ahead and um, define this tours endpoint path. So we specify the workspace, and basically everything else is more or less the same. But any module can declare additional endpoints. So this is the tours, and then this is destinations as its own endpoint, and here's tour types as its own endpoint. You now get a localized response from the REST endpoints. Previously, uh, you would always get all of the properties exactly as they are in the content. So I would get a body and a body DE storing the, the German version. With the new endpoint, um, I get the whatever language is specified by default. So now body is giving me the English and description is giving me the English. And I can request a specific language either with a parameter, lang equals DE. Now you can see that property is giving me the German version, so it's localized. And you can also make the request for a specific language with the, with the request header accept language. Now if I want to get all of the language content, I can use all as the parameter value. And now I get the same response as I would have gotten before. Many content items in Magnolia reference other content items. For example, in the demo project we have tours and they can reference tour types, which are like categories. Now the delivery endpoint already supports the reference resolver to actually get the content from that related item directly in line, but now we have a new feature in which you can get a link to that related content. Here's my example. Now Expand is how I choose if I want that related content, and generate link is the property that lets me get a link using regular Magnolia uh, link resolver. So I'll refresh the page now, and now you can see I get a relative link um, based on all of the mapping rules configured within Magnolia if I wanted to link to that page in Magnolia. I can also get the content expanded and now I get a slightly different format. So now here's that same tour type. I get all of the expanded content and I also get that link. The other new feature is that I can now reference assets and not only that, I can reference their renditions. So this is my, in my references, I'm referencing tour types and I'm also referencing the tour image. So I have an image property and I'm gonna use the new asset reference resolver and I'm going to get a download link and I'm going to get the metadata. So now we're not interested in tour types, we're interested in the image. And the image, without the new reference resolving, again, I would have just had the item key, but now I get a full link to that asset. I requested the metadata, so I get all of the metadata to that asset. But what I'm really often interested in is the renditions of that image so that I can pull up the exact image size that I want. It's also supported. 
Now I can specify exactly which renditions I want by the rendition name stored in the theme. Again, um, close the tour types, take a look at the image node, and now the image node contains the renditions, and I get the full link to the rendition of that size. And for any rendition that is not actually defined, it gives me a link to the default variation, which has the same size as the original asset. The Magnolia Travel demo now includes a single page app which demonstrates the REST delivery endpoints. So on the home page, we have this new tour finder bar, which is going to link to the tour finder. Um, I can already specify some values and then say find tour, and it brings me to the tour finder. Now, what's nice about this is that um, it is a single page application, and anything that I change, it's going to refresh the list of tours found without, without reloading the whole page. It just reloads the content using the REST requests. So I could look for something in Europe, seven days city. Let's just take a look at what the response looks like. So I'll bring up the network. I'll look for anything city, Europe. We can see it made a request to the REST endpoint. In here, we see it hitting our tour's endpoint and passing in the destination ID as a parameter and passing in the full text search of city. I'd like to show you two more improvements that are not related to REST. So we've supported symlinks to light modules for quite a while, but they haven't picked up the changes right when you add the symlink before. So let's just say I want to add a new module to this project, but the module is one that's, it's a light module that's used by many projects, so I don't want to copy it here, I just want to create a symlink to it. So I have this directory of shared light modules that are used throughout my projects, and I have this accordion magnolia light module that I want to use. So let's just add a symlink to the light modules directory of my project. And now if we look at the server, we can see right away it's picking up all the changes. And if we take a look in Magnolia, we can see that right away it's picked up this new module, Accordion Magnolia, and all the definitions are registered. The expanded problem reporting we introduced in 5.6.3 now also detects missing or deprecated definitions within sites. So I've prepared a few problems. We have a deprecated definition usage. It's using a template that has been deprecated. And there's also a theme reference problem. The theme, sports station theme EE, is not registered. So, or the name is misspelled. Okay, thanks. So now we can go ahead and um, look at the sites. Now you can see sites is now listed as a definition. Just a quick note that you cannot provide sites via YAML or decorate them, etc., but it is helpful to see them within the definitions app. So the sports station is the one that's giving us trouble. So we can show it in the configuration app. And uh, if we look at the templates, we see that it is referencing a deprecated definition. So let's change this to one that's not deprecated. Let's go ahead and change the theme. It detected that this theme does not exist, so let's use the actual theme. All right, and now if I go back to the definitions and refresh it, my problems are solved. So those are the six highlights from the new release. Please try the release and upgrade your sites. If you have questions or comments on any of the improvements, just comment on the release notes. Just Google Magnolia 5.6.5.